Good evening and welcome to Reuters Nightly News on RTB. I'm Kerry Blankensop in London, bringing you the top stories today from around the world. On tonight's show, prosecutors launch an appeal for South African athlete Oscar Pistorius to be convicted... Let's get straight to our top story and South African prosecutors have launched an appeal for athlete Oscar Pistorius to be convicted of murder and sent back to jail. The Paralympic gold medalist who didn't attend the hearing was freed on parole last month. Well, now to the latest on the Russian airliner that crashed in Egypt. A plane carrying what appeared to be the bodies from the doomed flight arrived at an airport in St Petersburg early this morning. The British government has denied its scrapping plans to seek parliamentary support to bomb Islamist militants in Syria. The rebuff follows a number of reports in British newspapers that Prime Minister David Cameron had abandoned the plans after failing to get enough backing. Julian Satterthwaite has the details. US Secretary of State John Kerry is in Kazakhstan as part of a brief tour to court Central Asia. Both Washington and Moscow have increased efforts recently to strengthen ties in the energy-rich nation. Myanmar's increasingly marginalised Muslims, who make up about 5% of the 51 million population, are seeking equal rights and security from the country's upcoming elections. Religious violence has killed hundreds of people, mostly Muslims, since a military-backed civilian government took power in 2011. That was after nearly half a century of dictatorship. Masako Ijima reports. To other news now around the world and North Korea's state media has released still photographs of leader Kim Jong-un watching a rocket firing drill by anti-aircraft units of the Korean People's Army. Well, the crew at the International Space Station is celebrating an important milestone in space exploration. This week marks the 15-year anniversary of human occupancy on the ISS. The French capital has declared a pollution alert just a month out from a key climate change conference and that sparked urgent action from officials. Speed limits in Paris have been cut and the number of cars allowed on the road could be limited. Deborah Lotterbeck reports. Let's head now to China where the country's first homemade passenger jet, the C919, has been unveiled. The launch comes after years of delays and is seen as direct competition for global aviation giants Airbus and Boeing. Meg Techman reports. Well, for our final story tonight, have you ever wondered what to do with your old mobile phone? Well, in a bid to highlight the importance of recycling, an artist from Taiwan has collected discarded phones for a special project. And that is it for this edition of Nightly News. Be sure to join us again tomorrow. Thanks for watching and good night.